According to the Sunday Business Post at the weekend, nine emergency departments around the country and hospitals, including those, this is significant for us, at NACE and Wexford Hospitals, are included in a controversial report proposing their permanent close. This is the emergency departments in these hospitals. So uh, many people uh, could be worried about this and they'd say, you mean there's no emergency department between St. Vincent's in Marion and Waterford? Okay. Um, the government haven't, I, I don't think they'll actually do it, will they? I mean, there's a lot of controversy going on at the moment to actually close these down. But it might make economic sense, but does it make human sense? Let's get a, a view anyway from one of our local TDs, that's Sinn Féin TD, John Brady. Good morning to you, John. Good morning, Declan. How are you? Good morning. Now, this is just a, a, a report and a proposal. There hasn't been anything uh, decided on this yet. Um, but do, do you think that people in County Wicklow should be worried about these proposals? Well, I, I think when um, reports or, or leaked uh, sections of, of reports um, appear in our, our, our papers, uh, this one was carried in yesterday's Sunday Business Post, I think people um, need to be worried um, because if, if people remember the situation regarding Lachlan's town and, and the closure of, of the A&E there, that's exactly how uh, that process started. There was leaked reports, there was talk about it, there was denials, there was rumours, there was speculation and ultimately a government decision was taken to uh, close it and unfortunately we're living uh, with the implications and the, the repercussions of that so you know I, I think what needs to happen immediately uh, Minister Harris needs to uh, clarify the, the situation and because you're right in identifying the two there Nace and Wexford uh, General Hospital both serve huge populations here in, in Wicklow um, nice, you know, people right away down as 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 far as car new, Balkan glass, um, right up into the, the Blessington. Um, would, would uh, use that particular hospital. And when you hear, uh, you know, car new, certainly I've had uh, numerous um, examples there, road traffic accidents and that, and, and waiting on ambulances to come down from these um, general hospital um, and people being brought up there. So if there is a situation where the A and E's are, are, are closed in both of those hospitals, it will leave people in a very, very serious um, and uh, alarming uh, situation. Yeah, I, I know the, well, the rationale behind it on another way is that you have teams ready um, to look after uh, trauma in some way, whether it be a stroke or whether it be a heart attack or whether it be something else or a physical injury because of an accident or something, that it requires uh, different surgeons with different skills. So the argument can be that, well, we only had one traffic accident last month and we've had... Um, a consultant and their team standing by basically do nothing. Would they not better be deployed somewhere else and use the ambulance service to uh, take them to these uh, particular centres like St. Vincent's or Waterford? Yeah, well, look, I mean, there's a, a number of different plans that we're, we're, we're still awaiting. I mean, we're awaiting the implementation plan for the capacity review of the ambulance service. We're also awaiting a, an implementation plan for the primary care strategy. So, you know, and, and yes, it appears that uh, this report in, from the, the trauma steering group is, is you know, and, and, and that's why I'm calling on Minister Harris to issue a, a clarification immediately um, to address this and, and put it to bed um, if, if it indeed it needs to be put to bed and, and you know, what exactly is it being proposed here. Um, and, you know, the same arguments were, were given with Lachlan's Town that, you know, it would free up capacity and, you know, it would allow uh, specialists to, to, to focus in, in St. Vincent's or, you know, obesity clinics in, in Lachlan's Town and that. But the reality on the ground here is that you know, we we have a, a hospital which in in Lockins Town, which had provided excellent services over many many years, um, and you know, funding being withdrawn on an annual basis, and um, you know, uh, capacity being um, you know brought down over a number of years, and eventually um, that A and E closed down. And the hospital is, is now bypassed and we have pe people being brought up to St. Vincent's now and we see the overcrowding and it was only in there on, on, on uh, Saturday evening um, and you know to see the people lying on hospital trolleys in, in corridors and that is you know it's it's sickening in you know in this day and age um, you know for, for, for people to be lying on, on hospital trolleys so you know 
we, we all know about the, the, the golden arrow rule um, and you know if people have to wait lying in, in hospital um, in the back of ambulances uh, you know to travel farther and farther it doesn't matter who's waiting at the you know in, in, in the hospital at the end of it it's you know is the travel time to to get to um, you know the injured person or, or, or the patient, um, and then the the time being spent in in the back of an ambulance, and when them parameters are being pushed out further and further, um, you know obviously patient um, care is is is, is primary and. and that's where the, the concern has to be. Yeah. Now, this was leaked, uh, John, in the Sunday Business Post, and uh, this morning Mr. Harris uh, said he hadn't seen the actual report, and I'd say, though, uh, he was probably on the phone to somebody looking for uh, the, the, a copy of it, so n- no doubt we'll uh, expect his comment sooner rather than later. That's what you call him for today. Very good. Uh, okay. Yeah, look, he, he needs to clarify it. You know, if, 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 if there's no truth in it, it needs to be put to bed here because people, and, and rightfully so, are, are concerned and alarmed um, on hearing these plans. And we remember back in 2011, the situation down in Ross Common where you had, prior to an election there, you had ended up Kenny making, uh, giving guarantees and making all sorts of assurances that nothing would happen with the, 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 the hospital down there. Um, and they got into power, um, and we know what happened there. And and the similar the similar situation here with uh, St. Colin Kills Hospital as well. You know, it was closed under the Fine Gael Labour uh, government, and you know we had um, Labour TD um, and Ferris here in Wicklow at that stage. You know, categorically and you know, out campaigning against this, and and they get into power and and they move ahead. So. We need concrete guarantees because the implications of this, you know, NACE and Wexford um, losing their, their, their A&Es, the trauma units, would have a, a detrimental impact on, on, on people right across Wicklow, you know, whether it's in, in Arco, whether it's in Blessington, whether it's in Baldwin Glass, it will have a detrimental impact and it will push that, you know, the golden hour, it would fall down further. Already we are at breaking point there um, in, in, in terms of, you know, um, ambulances and, and um, you know, people getting to um, treatment and, and hospitals and that, you know, that's being pushed t- all the time. And if these were, were, were to go, you know, I, I, I fear for the worst. All right. Uh, John Brady, TD, Sinn Féin. Thanks very much indeed, John. Thank you. Good morning to you. Good luck now, uh, John Brady, uh, TD, for this constituency. Uh,